What's up, everybody? Welcome into the Next Pats podcast. I'm Phil Perry. Special, special, extra edition of Next Pats for the end of your week because we've got the one, the only, Robert Gronkowski. Rob Gronkowski joining us as part of his partnership with FanDuel. As you all know by now, I am sure, sports betting legal in the great Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Gronk partnering up with FanDuel. He comes on with us. You're going to hear him chat about that partnership. But then we get really deep into some Patriots topics, some off-season Patriots topics. Play a little game with our guy. It's called Safe Bet or a Long Shot. We're talking about Mac Jones and his potential to be a pro bowler in 2023. Whether or not the Patriots will make a splash off-season addition offensively. I think you're going to love his answer if you feel as though the Patriots need to make real changes on that side of the ball. We're also asking him about Bill O'Brien's temper. It's a great, great conversation. Let's get right to it right now with Rob Gronkowski. All right, there he is, the great Rob Gronkowski, future Hall of Famer, Patriots champion Rob Gronkowski. Gronk, thanks so much for being with us here, man. Yeah, Bill, thanks for having me, man. Appreciate appreciate you, man. And uh, I heard you got a nice little game for me today, so I'm ready for it. We have a great game. We do want to mention just right off the bat, the reason you're with us today is because you've partnered up with FanDuel. FanDuel bringing its best-in-class online sports betting experience to sports fans. you got to be at least 21 years of age. But in Massachusetts, that's the big news. FanDuel coming to Massachusetts, football, basketball, baseball, golf, soccer, tennis, whatever you need, uh, customers who sign up for the FanDuel Sportsbook and you make a deposit of at least 10 bucks, and you place a bet of at least five, will automatically receive $200 and sportsbook bonus bets, phenomenal partnership that you've got going on with FanDuel. Gronk, how excited are you to work with them? Yes, I'm super excited, man. And FanDuel is definitely the best online sports book organization out there. Let me tell you, I love winning championships, and FanDuel is a championship company. And that's why the partnership with them just feels natural. And let me tell you, I teamed up with them about four months ago, and then we did the kick of destiny. It was the first live Super Bowl commercial ever where I kicked that field goal. But let me tell you, oh, I just missed that field goal because of Mother Nature. There was 45 miles per hour wind. It was the best kick. Right when I hit off my foot, I was like, that's going through. And then let me tell you, Mother Nature just took that football and just with the 55 mile per hour wind, actually it was more like 85 mile per hour, and just absolutely swiped that ball and just swooped it all the way to the left and went directly in front of a goalpost. But FanDuel, this is why they're the best, because they backed me up. I was They were supposed to give away $10 million if I made the kick, and they ended up giving away $17 million. So thank you, FanDuel, for making me look good once again. I appreciate you guys. I swear to God I thought that kick went in. Yeah, so it was definitely a very controversial kick. Uh, from the angle on TV, it 100% looked like it went in. So after all that, after all the controversy, everyone talked about the kick, how they all thought it went in. In the end, I have decided in my own calculations that it was the best miss ever. <laughs> that has to give you, now that has to give you, Gronk, a, a better appreciation for guys like Steven Guskowski, right? I mean, you just, in all the all the conditions, I mean, we know Gillette Stadium, you're in the Northeast, you're kicking in the Meadowlands. It's a, it's a tough gig that those guys have had, those teammates you've had over the years. Oh, uh, yes, 100%. I've always always respected kickers for what they've done. But now I just, I have taken that respect to a whole nother level, man. I appreciate to a, a whole entire another level, all the way to a whole no, entire universe of appreciation of what they do. It's a science. It's art on what they do. Just the technique. You literally have to have the technique perfected in order to drill the kick every single time. You can't, you don't have room for error. A little error, guess what? The kick's going to the left. The kick's going to the right. And um, on top of that, you know, with the art of being able to kick it with the form and everything, and then you got to deal with Mother Nature just like myself. And then you got to understand how the wind works, how it's twirling, where the ball's going to go if you kick it to the right, if you kick it to the left. So there's so much that factors in. And my respect and appreciation for kickers has just gone to a whole new level. All right, well, you had a great time with that game. We had a great time watching you. We've got a game for you here on the show today, Rob, that we're going to be calling Safe Bet or Long Shot. And I'm going to pepper you with some Patriots-related topics, and we're, and we're going to ask you whether or not that topic is a safe bet or a long shot. You're going to break it down for us the way you're breaking things down for Fox Sports. And the first thing I want to ask you, this has been in the news the last few days here, 
Lamar Jackson, he's available. He has that non-exclusive franchise tag. He can go negotiate with other teams. So the topic is, the question is, Lamar Jackson is a Patriot in 2023, Gronk. Is that a safe bet or a long shot? I think that's a long shot. Um, I believe eventually he's going to end up with the Baltimore Ravens on a long-term deal. Um, he's not going to the Patriots. The Patriots ain't dishing out $50 million or $200 million in guaranteed money. They've never done that. But who knows, ever since Tom left, they have done some things that they've never done before. So, But uh, I, I truly believe it's a long shot uh, to, in order for uh, Lamar Jackson to go to the Patriots. I believe he's going to be with the Baltimore Ravens on a long-term deal at the end of it. Just to follow up on that one, Rob, could you ever see him fitting into the offense that they've run here in New England? Obviously, we think of the Tom Brady offense and the Josh McDaniels offense, but they did for a year. They had Cam Newton here. So do you think Bill Belichick could figure out a way to make it work if they were willing to bring him in? Oh, yes, 100 percent. I, I truly believe they could figure out a way to make it work. They would figure out a way, especially with Billy O as the new offensive corner, to use Lamar Jackson's skills to utilize them to their best of their knowledge, to utilize them for uh, the whole entire offense to be able to make plays based off of Lamar Jackson. So if he did go to the Patriots, he would definitely be utilized in a way where his skill set is used and perfected, you know, to the highest power so he can go out there and perform and out win some games. Okay, let's go with the, the quarterback who is here in New England right now for this next one. Safe bet or long shot? Mac Jones is a pro bowler in 2023. Uh, I'm going to go with um, a long shot there. I think he can be a great quarterback, you know, a very solid quarterback this year, but he's going to need the pieces around him to be a pro bowler. And that first pro bowl, I mean, like 18 guys made it to the pro bowl that year, like 18 quarterbacks, like the first four or whatever, then they drop out and the next four drop out. And then it's like, all right, well, this quarterback, he's a rookie, bring him in, and and that he makes it to the Pro Bowl. So, uh, you know, that that's how some quarterbacks can get to the Pro Bowl. But I think it's a long shot. Um, I think it's, there's a possibility for sure, but um, he's going to need some help. I believe that he's going to need a wide receiver, like a DeAndre Hopkins to come in, a very savvy uh, veteran wide receiver. And then on top of it, they're going to need like a first-round pick wide receiver or like a second-rounder and a third-rounder the coming in as well to help him out in order to get him uh, to the Pro Bowl status. That would be a major overhaul of their receiver room, and it fits very nicely with our next question here, which is whether it's DeAndre Hopkins or another big name, Rob, that fans here would know, the Patriots will make a splash addition on offense this offseason. Do you feel as though that's a safe bet or a long shot? Would the Patriots be willing to make those kinds of moves that you're suggesting here? I think that's basically like a 98% safe bet, uh, 100%, uh, 98% safe bet. I was going to say 100% <laughs> after the 98% safe bet. So, uh, that's some complicated math. Yeah, that sure is. So I don't know where I was going with that one, but we'll just say that's a safe bet. They definitely 100%. They need to big, bring in a big name on the offensive side of the ball, and they also need to draft a big name on the offensive side of the ball as well. If you want Matt Jones to make that Pro Bowl, which is a long shot, you need help. You need to get him the help around him. You need to bring in a guy like DeAndre Hopkins or another better wide receiver who still has game, who's going to put up touchdowns, who's going to put up uh, receptions and yards. And then on top of it, you got to bring in uh, a very talented young buck in the draft as well so that's what they need to do it's not it's definitely i i feel like it's definitely going to happen too especially after watching that offense last year how about that tight end position how about your position here in new england gronk safe better long shot the patriots get more out of guys like hunter henry and johnny smith their top two tight ends this coming season um i believe if you bring in uh the patriots running game is very solid it's always solid no matter who they have in the backfield and uh, but I, I believe in, uh, they need to go get a, a wide receiver, a wide receiver one and a wide receiver two, um, and make them the focal point of the offense. And Hunter Henry and John Smith, they've done a, a decent job, um, especially Hunter Henry. And um, I believe that their staff will go up as well if they go and get that wide receiver that they need for that offense. And if they don't go get that wide receiver, I think their staff will just be. 
you know, average, subpar, like how they've been the last two years, you know, maybe 600, 700, 700 yards in the season. But I believe Hunter Henry can reach 800, 900 yards um, this season, maybe possibly 1,000 if you go out and get help around the offensive side of the ball. Okay, so that leads us to a guy who you know, understood for sure how to use that tight end position. Your offense coordinator early on in your tenure here with the Patriots, Bill O'Brien, you mentioned him earlier. Safe, better, long shot, Gronk. Bill O'Brien will lose his mind on his offense the first day of training camp this summer. <laughs> oh, that's a safe bet. Billy O loses his mind no matter what's going on. If you go 10 for 10 on the field for freaking 500 yards, he's still losing his mind. Um, I love Billy O. I love playing for him when I was out. Uh, it was like 10 years ago, actually, when I was a rookie in my second year in the league. Uh, great guy, great coach, knows his football, but always losing his mind. So that's a safe bet. I've got two more for you here, Gronk. Safe bet or long shot, Patriots are a playoff team next season. This, I think, is especially relevant and could get even more difficult for them based on the fact it sounds like there's a decent chance Aaron Rodgers ends up with the Jets. You know, that's a tough question. I don't think it's a safe bet, and I don't think it's a long shot. It's kind of like I feel like they're in the same position that they're going to be in again this year, where they're right in middle where they were last year. And uh, right in middle of the pack, it's either if they win this game, they're going to the playoffs, or if they lose it, they're not going to the playoffs. So it's not a state bet or a long shot. They're right in between. It's kind of like a 50-50. I think that's fair, especially where they finished last year, but you get the coaching addition this offseason. They should improve. Is that enough? We will see the last one for you here, Gronk. Bill Belichick in his 70s now, your old boss. Bill Belichick, safe bet or long shot, will be coaching in 2024. So could this potentially be his last season? Do you think he'll be around and still on the sidelines in 2024? I think it's a safe bet. He'll be coaching in 2024, uh, no doubt about that. I mean, he loves the game of football. He knows how to break down the game of football like no other out there. He knows the rules inside and out. He just loves the game, loves being around it, has just so much passion for it. Um, he'll be on the sidelines in 2024. That's a safe bet. Rob Gronkowski, phenomenal work by you. All the safe bets, all the long shots we could ever handle. Thank you for being with us. Obviously, uh, thankful to FanDuel for setting you up with us here today and having this great conversation. We're so excited that FanDuel is coming to Massachusetts Friday. Let the games begin, my friend. I appreciate it, Phil, man. Thanks for having me on. All right, thanks so much to Rob for joining us there. Always fun to get to catch up with him. It was a great time chatting with him out at the Super Bowl. We had some of his commentary on the Patriots on our Next Pats podcast from weeks ago, again, when we were out in Phoenix. So if you missed that episode, make sure you go back and check. I thought great analysis on how Bill O'Brien is really going to help out Mac Jones in year three. Obviously, Grock knows Bill O'Brien well. He knows how well that Bill O'Brien knows the Patriots offense, the old-fashioned Patriots offense, if you want to call it that. So some uh, great information from him then, some great information from him now. We Again, we thank him. We thank FanDuel for bringing him to us here on Next Pats this week. Just wanted to hit you with a very quick Next Pats episode. Make sure we got you that Gronk content that we know everyone's hungry for, even if they didn't know they were hungry for. It. All right, so thanks so much for listening. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you get the opportunity. Leave us a comment on YouTube if you're watching us there. We appreciate you, YouTubers. We'll talk to you very, very soon. We've got a draft to prepare for free agency. Starts next week, so we've got much more Next Pats headed your way.